Now at nine, researchers are working to come up with new ways to protect your family from severe weather disasters. Last year in the U.S., there were a record 22 weather and climate disasters that caused at least a billion dollars in damage. Fred Campagna traveled to the Insurance Business and Home Safety Research Center to see how experts are preparing. This four-story wall of fans is so loud that a berm protects the neighborhood from the noise. They suck up so much electricity that they can only be used during off-peak hours. So what exactly are they doing here? Creating extreme weather. We can simulate winds of a hurricane. We can punch up an eyewall wind record. We could recreate a hailstorm. Probably only place in the world we actually get to control the weather a little bit right here in this test chamber. The Insurance Institute for Business and Home Safety, or IBHS, test chamber in Richburg, South Carolina, is the size of nearly five basketball courts and can hold two full-sized houses on a rotating floor. These six-foot fans behind me are capable of producing 120 mile per hour winds, but it's the attention to detail that really sets this facility apart. These wind vanes simulate the turbulence that you'd get in an actual hurricane. Because they're computer controlled, researchers can turn the dials to accurately simulate past events. We subjected this home to 10 hours of hurricane wind conditions and rainfall conditions matching what Hurricane Florence did here in the Carolinas. Ian Jamanko is the lead research meteorologist at IBHS, which is funded by the insurance industry to help improve building materials and strengthen building codes. For him, being able to test actual buildings and not scale models makes a huge difference. At full scale, that's where you actually see the build building as a system perform. All the connections, all the nails, the fasteners, the, the shingles to the underlayment to the roof deck all working together, or in this case that you have a failure, not working together. It's not just wind and rain that can be reproduced here. Another one-of-a-kind machine replicates hail. Sometimes we think of it as kind of a forgotten hazard, but in any given year, it accounts for 60 to 80 percent of the damage that comes from severe thunderstorms. For years, steel balls were used to test the quality of shingles, but here this one of a kind machine creates actual simulated hailstones. And even though this one looks pretty good, not all of them make the cut. The layered balls of ice must meet precise weight, density and size requirements. Scientifically accurate test results help manufacturers make more durable roof shingles. Wildfires are also simulated to show how quickly fire spreads across the landscape with varying winds and how big fire breaks should be to prevent it from jumping the line. It's vital information as fire season ramps up in the drought parched western United States. Until we take decisive steps to curb climate change, adaptation could be our best short term approach and research that's conducted at this facility definitely helps to limit the effect of severe weather on your life. In Richburg, South Carolina, Fred Campagna, CBS 46.